and the electoral commission is assuring that indeed they have the commitment to transparency and accountability in the upcoming polls this follows the reports of the ballot paper shortfalls in the Bono and Volta regions ahead of the December 7 elections. And Samuel Kudatua Blackwa, North Tong MP, and this constituency is in the Volta region, and it's going to have a quick one on this. But the Electoral Commission is saying that if they, 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 they discovered the, the shortfall themselves. Their staff discovered this. So really, um, it is not a matter of concern. But even before you answer that, there was a, a message from Professor Emmanuel Quason, who was saying that if the double identity of Reverend Edu Jemfi had matters to relate to the Electoral Commission as well, because I saw your guest, I'm sure you're talking about some of Blackwa, display two different voter ID cards with two different names. <laughs> Is Professor Jampo concerned that that could also compromise the Electoral Register because you have one person having two different voter ID cards with two different names and two different dates of birth? Yeah. Prof, quick, quick one on this. I mean, please. certainly, <laughs> if that is the case, uh, if, yeah, if, if that is truly the yeah, case, yeah, yeah, I, I saw you display that, something. It, it, that, that's what you have there. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's just that um, yeah, uh, the electoral you cannot. She must be assuring us. Yes, that, and, uh, but, but that they, have, cannot... they have probably cancelled one. But they should. Yes. Okay. It's just that also yeah. your biometric um, but, details, but, once captured, yeah. you cannot. But how did um, this happen? Because we how did it happen? Yes. We do biometric. So, how, how did they allow this? So, you see, our institutions, our institutions, so, 2016... You know, almost all of them are compromised. You know, how did this happen? Yeah, because and and how, how, what, shows that, what shows he's not going to vote twice in this election? The EC must issue a statement on this. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, because it should not have yeah. happened in the yeah. first place. Because it's the same if, constituency, the Quadraso constituency. And then one the polling station is MAJHS or Wimase. Yeah. Is it or Wimase or yeah. Shimasi? Yeah. Or, you know, yeah. yeah. The same, 2016, 2020. Then the 2021, the police station is Hilltop, Hilltop Perez, Perez Chapel. Chapel. But it's the same Quadraso. I see. I mean, what's going on? So has he got different biometric details to I add mean, it? Yeah. <laughs> possible? Yes. Yeah. I mean, anyway, it sure. raises a serious, a serious question. I, that I, I, I think I the EC must also be, yeah. be petitioned to look into okay. something like this. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. On, on, and, and, and the black one, this matter on the shortfall of ballot papers, it's, it's, it's in a region that your constituency is in. The EC says they discovered this, and so to that extent, they are committed to, to ensuring some level of transparency to deal with it quickly. Look, uh, Alfred, the Electoral Commission led by Jim Mensa must be told in very plain language that we will not allow them to toy with the peace and stability of our country. Look, elections are very, very sensitive issues. When we, come, when we talk about elections, registration, how people are voting and all, these are very sensitive matters. That if you do not conduct yourself as the electoral body in a manner that inspires confidence, even before the people go to vote, once you have eroded your institutional reputation and credibility, Mm -hmm. We cannot be sure whether people will even accept the outcome. And what that, that, does that mean for peace and stability? Look, the, the errors, the blunders, the missteps, the incompetence, the ineptitude, is too much. One too many. Why? I mean, mm -hmm. one would have thought that after more than 32 years of this fourth Republican dispensation, the Electoral Commission should have gathered all the needed expertise and experience to avoid some of these pitfalls. This is so elementary. And you see, don't underestimate the consequences of this. Look, in 2008, I was one of the NDC's monitors for printing of ballot papers. I was in the team. What we do at the printing presses is that apart from mounting 24-hour surveillance, vigilance, when the printing is completed, we count all of them one by one, check the serial numbers, and then we sign on behalf of our parties that we are convinced as 
party representatives that the process meets the standard. So first of all, the number allocated to that printing press, mm -hmm. they have printed up to that number. Yes. Then it has been done properly. Mm -hmm. And the, the, if, if the, there are mistakes, if there are errors, reprinting has been done, then right. it is signed. How come in this instance, according to our election and ICT director, Dr. Mani Buama, all the party reps signed mm -hmm. that are the printing press called Act Commercials, they have duly certified that all the ballot papers have been printed. What accounts for this shortfall? And you know the implications of this. If it is the case that some people have money to lay hands on this ballot papers, mm -hmm. we are not even told the quantities. What does that mean for D-Day? Wouldn't it lead to ballot box staffing where the miscreants who are in possession of this will be looking for places where probably people are not too vigilant, where they can infiltrate and then staff the ballot box. And what does that do to the credibility of the election? So these are not matters that you take lightly. I thought when the EC put out this statement, they would have stated that they have commenced investigations and that they were going to publish the outcome of the investigation. To just sign this, Samuel Tete, the deputy chairman, mm -hmm. signs that the electoral committee has identified some shortfalls on presidential and parliamentary ballot papers for the Keta, Ketu, North, Ho, Central, Ho, Ho, and Ho, West constituencies in the Volta region. The shortfalls will be printed by Arts Commercials. Political parties and independent presidential candidates are to provide two representatives each to observe the printing process on Friday, 29 November 2024 at 10 a.m. at the premises of Arts Commercial Printing House. Please find attack the shortfalls of ballot papers to be printed. And they leave it at that. Why is the Electoral Commission not interested in how did these shortfalls occur? Where are those shortfalls? Who is in possession of those shortfalls? How can we all be then vigilant to make sure that those shortfalls do not find their way into ballot boxes and be counted on December 7? So, so, so look, this is not enough. The Electoral Commission, first of all, ought to be preventing these things. When they have failed to prevent this, they must institute investigations, we must get to the bottom and make sure we retrieve those ballot papers from the wrong hands. You don't just leave it at that, that we are going to print more. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm terribly frightened about this. And let me conclude on the other... Are you sure it's only in the water region? Because well, I they said, I checked, they mentioned a number of regions. They said there are other... other yes, they said... No, I, I haven't said it's only in the water. I'm just saying that they, this is the 28th November Vota statement. Bono was water region. Later on, yes, we are told Bono, of some in the Bono. Bono in the Bono uh, region as well, which, which, which tells you that this is widespread. This should not be happening. Why didn't we see this under Charlotte or say? We didn't see this under Afarijan. Why are we seeing You see the errors and, okay. and, and, and a lot of it self-inflicted. I'm coming to discuss this bizarre directive from the Electoral Commission to all their regions and districts to limit press coverage. I mean, what when we talk about, that? Professor Jampu is here, he's a professor of political science. When we talk about open, free, fair, transparent election, what are we talking about? It is open for everybody who wants to assess, who wants to convince themselves that the process is credible. There is no fetter, there is no impediment, there is no barrier. So how does the Electoral Commission, for the first time in the history of this country, issue a statement that only 12 media houses, and even that in this modern era, left out online portals, left out newspapers. And how are they going to do that selection? So the electoral commissioners will select their favorite media houses. And then this lame excuse that they want to control numbers. Hey, in this country, under our electoral laws, everybody is allowed to go and observe the counting process, the coalition process. Okay. All the parties, we actually encourage our members that when you vote, stay if you can. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to go and take a quick break, have lunch, and come back to observe the counting. Is that right. not what we all tell everybody? How is it that for the first time, the Jim Mensah Bosmanasari 
led electoral commission is saying that they are going to limit press coverage. How? What do you have to hide? And how would this therefore be an open, free, transparent, credible election when you limit press coverage? Look, let me commend the Media Foundation for West Africa, the Ghana Journalist Association, GIBA, Primpark, and all the civil society organizations who, and the Professor Jampo and all of them, UTAG and all of them, who roundly and promptly condemned this directive. I am told that yesterday the yes. EC called some of you and it's now beginning to make a U-turn. Mm. They, they should mm. better abandon this, jettison this idea. I mean, so, 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 so uncalled for, totally preposterous. What do they have to hide? Why don't they want full coverage of the election? 